Welcome to Get Started with Photoshop for Photography. In this series of videos, I'll walk you through the basics of editing a photograph in Photoshop from your first editing steps to saving a polished version. When you finish watching the series, you'll be able to use the Photoshop fundamentals you learn here to make your own photographs look fantastic. We'll focus on editing in Photoshop in this series, but keep in mind that using Photoshop and Lightroom together are the perfect combination for photography. You can organize, edit, and share your photos in Lightroom and take them even further in Photoshop. In this video, I'll cover opening, cropping, and straightening a photo in Photoshop. Let's begin in the start screen, which you'll see when you launch this version of Photoshop. Open the sample image we're providing, or your own photo, by clicking the Open button on the Start screen or by choosing File, Open to locate an image. When the image opens, activate the Crop tool in the Tools panel and a resizable crop box immediately surrounds your image. You can drag any corner or any edge to adjust the shape of the box and you can click and drag within the box to reposition the photo underneath it. When you do, Photoshop darkens the soon-to-be cropped away pixels outside the box, giving you a preview of what the crop will look like. To constrain the crop to a certain size, use the menu at the left of the options bar at the top of your screen, which includes some commonly used crop presets. For example, to preserve the photo's original aspect ratio, choose Original Ratio. Now, as you adjust the crop box, the photo's original relationship of width to height is preserved. If you want to crop your photo to particular dimensions rather than ratios, you can choose from this section of the menu, which includes options in inches for print and options in pixels for online use. If the menu doesn't include the values you want, you can enter them in the boxes to the right of the menu. If the image also needs straightening, click the Straighten icon in the options bar and your cursor turns into a tiny plus sign. Now click and drag to draw a line across an area in the image that really should be straight, such as this boat ramp. When you release your mouse button, Photoshop rotates the image. It's a good idea to have Photoshop hide the cropped pixels instead of delete them so you can change your mind about this crop in the future. To do that, turn off Delete Crop Pixels in the Options bar. When everything looks good, click the check mark in the Options bar or press the Return or Enter key on your keyboard to crop the image. Now choose View, Fit on Screen to enlarge the image so you can continue editing. Let's save the work you've done so far by choosing File, Save As, and in the Save As dialog box, choose Photoshop from the Format or Type menu. Leave the Layers checkbox turned on and then click Save. Saving in the Photoshop format retains your cropped pixels as well as any layers you add as you continue to work on this photograph. In fact, it's a good idea to save often while you edit, so at the end of each video in this series, remember to choose File, Save to update this saved Photoshop document with your new edits. You'll learn more about options for saving in the last video in this series. So to recap, in this video you learned to use the crop tool to improve composition and straighten an image, and you also learned how to save the document in Photoshop format. In the next video, we'll use adjustment layers to improve this photo's lighting and color.